Hi right, guys, so I'm at Tanjong Baga now, just ran over from Tanjong Baga MRT at the amazing Tanjong Baga neighborhood and work area. Today I'll be doing a very very special run which is called Run for Engineering. So as you know, especially in Singapore, engineers play very very important roles in developing Singapore into such a beautiful city and also enhancing our quality of life. So the engineers work is really all around us uh, to really amazing structures, to transportation, to even the water that we drink really really amazing so i'll say most of the time including me uh, we just take their work for granted as they work very quietly behind the scene to ensure everything works around us uh, including this awesome thing that i just set on <laughs> in today's run for engineering to celebrate all those awesome people that's involved in the world of engineering right i will run to five very special locations that would not have been possible without engineers the first place that i'll be running around is this awesome building behind me now you have recognized this building uh, It's the tallest HDB residential building in Singapore Yes, the Pinnacle at Duxton Let's go, let's go, let's go The Pinnacle at Duxton really tower above the rest of the buildings over here in Tanjong Baga so I just realized just right behind the Duxton building right Where a lot of people stay There's a very beautiful park beside for the residents to exercise and work out Oh man, this is really really cute even for something as simple as this, I also need some engineering efforts as well to ensure that it works yeah. and allows the user to have fun. So it seems like there's a common space where I'm able to run up. So let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm right in the smack of the middle of the Duxton. This is the first time ever I have ran to here. From here, I'm able to catch a glimpse of the sky bridges in the sky, yeah. And I'm really, really sure there are actually 12, 12 of them. So of course, the common of seven towers are one, two, three, four, five, and two hit at the back, six, seven. Oh my God. The unique facade of this building is made up of 528 pieces of precast components compromising of 5 types of precast facades innovatively arranged in 7 distinct configurations that you see just now. Look at how tall the building is. Other people reclaim land but this place reclaim the sky. In really a uh, landscape Singapore, you really need tall buildings. So now to uh, proceed on and run on to the Beep next destination, <laughs> which is the Art Science Museum. According to Google Map, I think it will take me around two to three kilometers to reach my second destination. If you want to see a lot of high-rise buildings uh, really contributed by engineers, there's no better place to witness all these buildings uh, by walking or running around the CBD area. So since I'm stuck at the traffic light, so I might as well take some time to appreciate the wonderful structures around me. Even this wonderful food center, right? The shelter around it, the metal, <coughs> everything, how the buildings are built. And so as I turn around, how about this? However nice our uh, art structure is right, without engineers, this wouldn't have been safely put up for us to really go and appreciate. So at the beautiful Marina Coastline. So standing here, enjoying the breeze just a little bit. Many many years ago, Marina Bay look nothing like this uh. and because of, of the wonderful engineers and everyone involved in the building of the structure right yeah it becomes so so beautiful uh, to the point it become really iconic all over the world all the major buildings over there and Finally at the Lotus Flower Building, <laughs> the Art Science Museum. A lot of people call this Lotus Flower Building because I think it's structured after a lotus flower. Look at the number of awesome lotus flower over here. Do you know the Art Science Museum hosts 
blockbusters, international exhibits as well as a lot, a lot of permanent exhibits. Are you able to tell uh, there are actually 10 fingers that made out of the building and with the tallest at 60 meters and uh, oh my god. So just by looking at it alone, uh, I can tell that it's very, very hard to build. Uh. Simple in design yet complex in form, the Art Science Museum is an amazing architectural and engineering feat. It also integrates sustainability into its design. The roof of the museum harvests rainwater which is then recycled and redirected to create a waterfall feature. The rainwater is recycled for use in the museum's bathrooms as part of Singapore's Green Mark program. I have to leave the Art Science Museum and proceed to my third destination of the day, the Marina Barrage, which is not really far from here. It's in front. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Run. So I'm um, at our very own Marina Barrage. Yeah! So every time I run to Marina Barrage, right, I will start to get thirsty because it reminds me of Wow, needing to drink water, yeah. <laughs> of, course, of course, this is one of the places that provide us with drinkable water. So for Marina Barrage, you are able to run through this bridge all the way to Garden by the Bay East and all the way to the sports hub over there. There's also a viewing pad over here which can give you a really good uh, skyline view uh, of the whole place. Really, really beautiful. Built across the mouth of the Marina Channel, the Marina Barrage creates Singapore's first reservoir in the heart of the city. The unique 3-in-1 concept of Marina Barrage is an innovative and cost-effective engineering solution to meet Singapore's water supply needs and at the same time provide flood control and recreation opportunities. Alright, so after exploring Marina Barrage, so it's time to proceed to my fourth location which is all the way to Brader at the BCA Academy which where the zero energy building is. Can't wait to go there. Woohoo! Let's go, let's go, let's go. It will take around uh, close to 9 to 10 kilometers. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, so, so nice. Uh. So, you think all this uh, wonderful decoration, right? Doesn't need any uh, engineering expertise. Uh. You will be surprised, I tell you. The wonderful thing about running in Singapore, right? The, all the paths, right? They are really built very smoothly for runners and cyclists to uh, work out on. Park connectors is linked almost everywhere in Singapore. For example, if you stay here, just come down, you are able to run. So this is the luxury that a lot of other countries residents do not have. I never even start to talk about all this this common site in Singapore, the overhead bridges, help us to get across easy road like this, uh, very very safely. Wow, the long long run. But I will say, even though it's really tough to be able to run under the hot sun, it's nothing compared to the efforts, uh, to, to, to the efforts of everyone involved in the engineering feats to be able to really build up all the buildings that I came across today and the rest of the building uh, all over Singapore. Yeah. The BCA Academy is facing this wonderful Kalang River which is in front of me. The long long Kalang River can link to a lot of places. In plain sight, the BCA Academy may just look like any other school building but there's a zero energy building inside which is very very special. The amazing thing about this zero energy building is 50% more energy efficient than a lot of other buildings and it managed to achieve 6 continuous years of zero energy usage. It's due to the use of solar panel on the roof. Uh. Hopefully in future I'll be able to see it. Do you know because of this building, it has inspired the building industry to develop more energy efficient buildings locally and overseas as well. Really, really proud of what Singapore has achieved. Uh. So buy BC Academy, buy zero energy building. So time to continue this path to the my final, my final destination. Before I reach my final destination, I'd like to give shout outs to three more amazing engineering milestones in Singapore. Let's go! 
guys, I reached my final place, the ABC River. ABC means active, beautiful and clean river. And if you look at this particular water water display, it does look like a canal and also look like a river. It's actually a combination of both, uh, a combined effort by PUB and M Parks uh, to develop this particular area so that to bring Singaporeans closer to the water for us to appreciate the water more and take more ownership uh, in the usage of our daily water consumption. The river eventually leads all the way to uh, Bishan Park. So a lot of time we come to exercise at all these areas, right? We never once are taught how special these places can be, how this is built, what's the objective of this place, what's the place trying to serve. So although I ran here quite a few times, even participated in races over here. Leave your entries in the subreddit pros and I'll watch submissions in the next episode of Luai. Uh, I just treat it as just another regular park. So the special thing about this particular river, right? So if the tide is low, you are able to get closer to the river and go and explore a little bit. But when the tide is high, they will have some warning sign to warn you of uh, the impeding high tide and to get you away from the river. Thank you so much. Look at the number of fishes over here. Wow! The water can't go away. The water will be up. Careful, careful. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Kind of time to continue on my run. Yeah. This is the view of the stairs that I came up from. There's a lot of bridges for you to get across to the other side, get across to this side. There's one more stream over there. I cannot believe uh, they are able to convert this concrete canal into a naturalized river. So be careful here, it's a bit high, so you can walk alternatively over here. If the water gets slightly higher, right, you might be prepared to get your feet wet. So this is as natural as it gets. Uh. Do you think I should try to get across here? Um, it's a hard decision to make. I think my feet will be all wet. Hope I don't sleep uh, because this type of rock uh, can be a bit slippery. Uh. The water is faster here as compared to the other one where the children are. Okay, 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 I feel some sleep already. <laughs> like a mini adventure. Yeah, Indiana Jones. I can feel a little bit of water in my socks already, oh my god. Consider shallow already. Uh. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay guys, I made it. When it's downpour on coming, uh, there are all these red, red markers. Uh. So, you must not get across the red markers, beyond the red markers. If not, it can be very dangerous as the water start rushing in during heavy rain. So slowly appreciating the wonderful scenery around me. So designed with a holistic, sustainable approach, the project integrated the park with the river using the floodplain concept. And during dry weather, right, the river with its gentle slopes and the narrow stream in the middle become recreation space for the community, just like what I did just now. And during heavy rain, the same park and land next to the river, right, will become part of the river to meet water conveyance. And the edges of the bioengineered river, like what you see on the river, there's a lot of fishes, right, also form natural habitat that enrich the park's biodiversity. Uh. So along the way, I see a lot of fishes, birds, just that I never see the otters today. Ah! This is how awesome Bishan Park is. I never thought that ABC's, ABC water is like that. So again, uh, we park goers just assume that it's there. It's just there. So it's not just there. There's a lot of thoughts, a lot of design, a lot of meaning uh, planned into something that is really this huge. Uh, something we never thought. So hope that after seeing my video, right, you will be able to appreciate all these wonderful uh, natural habitats, uh, the building, all the different structures all over Singapore more. In total, I visit five places of engineering fit today. So all the way starting from the Duxon all the way here, I actually did around close to 19 kilometers already. It's gonna rain soon already, <laughs> the weather not so good. So I'll do my conclusion video when I get back. Woohoo! Hello guys, I'm back. So it was a wonderful run and I would like to dedicate this run to everyone that's involved in the wonderful world of engineering and of course the Institution of Engineers Singapore. They are the National Society of Engineers in Singapore. It is the heart and voice of engineers here. And I got one good news to share with you guys is the National Engineers Day is coming soon. And it is of course the biggest engineering festival for youths in Singapore. It's designed for students from primary, secondary, ITE, 
poly, JC and universities. And during the festival, they can learn, experience and be amazed by the wonderful world of engineering. And this year's theme is Transform the Future Through Engineering. And for the first time, National Engineers Day will be held online due to COVID-19. And some highlights of NED 2020 include online talks and interactive workshops that you can join for free, contests and giveaways and Innovation Engineering Challenge 2020. And remember to mark your calendar because NED 2020 will happen from the 12th to 21st November this year. And of course, you can find out more from this website. Before I end this video, I would like to once again thank all the people involved in the world of engineering for making Singapore such a wonderful place to live in. And if you learned something from today's video, remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome running content. So once again, thanks for following me on this run for engineering and remember to stay safe and keep on running. Woohoo!